I am an observer, a watcher of men, of things, of folly and madness. I attend the lies. I keep the secrets. This is a story that begins with a lie and ends with a secret. A secret so big, you are part of it. A rather ordinary woman came here to Bangkok over 20 years ago. Then both her husband and son were killed in Vietnam. Her daughter Jessie went back to America and never returned. Not until now. This is where Rachel McCarthy lived. This is where the secret began. And as far as everyone knows, this is where it ended. But stories are never really over until you know everything. I may know everything, but I'm not talking. Ridiculous traffic. I made my daughter fly 20 hours to get here and I can't even pick her up on time. Stopping here. Sorry for intruding like this, madam, but this is a very urgent matter. It's you. I'm afraid so. I'm truly sorry, madam. I truly am. Bye. 
child came through the surgery um, if you could leave me a message at my mother's I guess I'll find out pretty soon what this is all about now, oh listen if you have a minute if you could go by the kennel and check on Jasper for me I'd really appreciate it thanks well uh, bye for now call me when you know anything Henry Kissinger? Hmm? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you a member of the delegation? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, it's all right. She's with us. Thanks. You saved me an hour on the line. My pleasure. What delegation is this? <laughs> <laughs> May I help you? Oh, yes, I'm looking for Rachel McCarthy. I'm Jesse McCarthy. Oh, yes, the daughter, yes. But brought to die. Your mother's not here. Uh, when are you expecting her? Soon. Um, I thought she'd be at the airport. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, is this my mother's house? Oh, no. That's your mother's house. This is the guest house. Uh-huh. And uh, you are? I am Nguyen. Swadika. Swadika. We will show you to your room. Thank you.
Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, ka You must be Jesse. Yes? I'm Fran Jakes. I'm with the consulate at the American Embassy. How do you do? Are you waiting to see my mother, too? Please, sit down. Look, there's really no easy way for me to say this, so I'm just going to have to say it. This afternoon, the Thai police found a body and they're pretty sure it's your mother. Uh, what happened? Apparently, she had a stroke. Uh, you say the, uh, the police found her? Yes, they said she was out walking. Jesse, the Thai authorities are very cooperative in these cases, and I've managed to make a few arrangements for her. Where is she now? The police mortuary. Um, I guess I should go. I'll, I'll get my purse. No, you don't have to. I can make all the plans. I'd like to go. All right. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning, round 10. I'd prefer to do it now. I'll see if I can pull a few strings. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I'm a doctor. I can handle it. Did you know her well? Everyone knew Rachel. She was respected. Really? She was a local legend with her CRV. CRV? Committee to Rebuild Vietnam. To rebuild Vietnam? My mother? Your mother was saving lives. Refugees. <laughs> there are a lot of Vietnamese babies in America named Rachel. Well, I guess the house and all that art didn't come from my dad's pension. I gather you and your mother weren't close. No, not really. My mother and I had almost nothing to say to each other in the end. Nothing. So in Dikra. Major? This is Dr. McCarthy. Major. I'm here to see my mother's body. Yes, it's being arranged. Please. Miss McCarthy, have you had contact with your mother for the past few years? Uh, no, I've had no contact with my mother for ten years. Uh, ten years? Perhaps in Thailand we have a different idea of family. 
So, what brings you to Bangkok at this particular time? Major, I'm sure she answered that question on her entry visa. I believe it's because you and your mother are about to lose your business. Business? Your country in Vietnam make peace. You're both out of business. Dr. McCarthy is a pediatrician in Connecticut. What are you insinuating? That my mother was a drug trafficker? Not drugs. Human beings. Vietnamese, at least those who could pay. Refugees, you mean? That work is called humanitarian. She was a legend. A legend with police in four countries. So you've had no contact with your mother for ten years? That's correct. You haven't seen her? Right. Don't treat me like a joke, because I'm a Thai, Miss McCarthy. And don't jerk me around, because I'm Farang. That's enough. We'll come back tomorrow. No, look, Major. I came to Bangkok to see my mother. Nothing more, nothing less. I would like to see her now. Yes, of course. Excuse me. What's going on? The Thais have a different attitude about death. They think that we're coming back. It's a much healthier attitude than ours. Oh, no. No, I meant, what was he saying about my mother back there? My mother ruffled quite a few feathers, saving lives. More power to her. Follow me, please. Get through this and go have a stiff drink, okay? All right. Cry. Cry sung hai pao. Mai luo jiao na thi nuoi nai sang hai pao, krap. Why weren't we informed? Surely a little decency could have spared this. I have no idea who wanted this. What's going on? They've cremated your mother. It's a custom. That's usually not done so quickly. My mother wasn't Thai. But how do I know this is even her? Your mother's passport. Regarding your passport, and nothing is to be removed from the house. What? Let him have it. I'll deal with it at the embassy. Questioning my professionalism? Certainly not. I haven't seen any here tonight to question. Miss McCarthy, haven't you forgotten something? I think I wasn't cut out to be a diplomat. I'm just sorry you had to go through all of that. It's all right. I came across a picture of your father in an old file yesterday. Do you want it? No. He's a good-looking man. Jesus Christ. What am I supposed to do with this? You could just put it on a Christmas tree. Yeah. That'd be festive. Oh, oh, God. oh, I'm 
sorry. <laughs> it's alright. It's sorry. All right. Don't worry, I'll get you to that plane tomorrow with your passport. Well, I can't thank you enough, friend. Shall we get that drink now? Oh, you know, I think I'd like to just go for a walk. I understand. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yeah, fine. Call me if you need anything before then. Back to your hotel? No. Thank you. Actually, I'm staying with. Uh, at my mother's house. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Jesse McCarthy. Michael Murphy. Come on, get your can. Were you antique shopping? Oh, I don't know. Not exactly. Are you Rachel McCarthy's daughter? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I, just that you said that you were staying with your mother, and I just matched up the last names. I write for a news service, so I guess uh, being nosy just comes naturally. Yeah. Who do you write for? I just write for a small news service out of Atlanta about Asia. God knows what they do with it. <laughs> uh, yes, I am her daughter. Oh. Huh. I hear your mother's retired from that refugee committee of hers. Entirely. She died this afternoon. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. What happened? Apparently, it was a stroke. Just natural causes. Yeah, in Bangkok, everybody dies of natural causes. Oh, here we are. It's not exactly an air-conditioned uh, taxi. Mr. Murphy, what did you mean? About what? Uh, everybody in Bangkok dying somehow of natural causes? Oh, uh, no, I, that was just a local expression. 
Did you know her very well? I think everyone met her at one time or another. No, I mean, uh, did you ever hear anything unusual about her? All Western and Thailand are unusual. You mean unusual? Unusual? I think that the basic assumption about Americans is that we are either criminals or CIA, or, of course, both. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, okay. I'll see you. Bye, Tanong Saton. Jakes. May I take a message, please? No, I've left messages before. I really don't want to leave another one. Uh, well, just hold, please. That, that's fine. I'll hold. Thank you.
Hello? Thank you. Can you come with me, please? Do I get my one phone call? Phone call? Yeah. Uh, never mind. It's important, please. What is it? It's about your mother. Give me a minute to change. Remember the collectors from when you lived here? The people who go to accidents or fires, collect the bodies, try to identify them. Ago. Do you know? No. Who? Why? It was done by a professional. Upstairs. All the way upstairs? Yes. Was she by herself? Yes. Well, you know, they say the real revolution is the information revolution. Did you know that, Nguyen? Not the revolution that you and I battle against, no. Information. And it goes through wire like this. Little electrical. Whispers. It's a terrible threat to our privacy. Too much being known. And to protect ourselves, we have to cut every strand. She knows nothing. Really? Don't ask me to kill her. No. I don't want to kill her. No, Yan. Yes?
770 to Los Angeles. Oh, I'm very sorry. The flight just taking off. What, do you have any other flights going to the States today? No, that was the last flight of today. On any other airline? Um, I'm very sorry. That was the last Eastbound flight of today. Perhaps tomorrow? That will be fine. May I use this phone for a moment, please? Thanks again, friend. This is awfully kind of you. Don't be silly. I couldn't let you spend another night in that big house by yourself. It's beautiful from up here. <laughs> it's like most cities. The further away you get, the better it looks. I'm not far enough away from this one yet. We'll get you on that plane tomorrow, I promise. I'll drink to that. Fran, I don't really want to, but uh, before I leave, there's something I need to talk about. A story of the conclusion to a successful international negotiation. In two days, Secretary of State Weidman of the United States and Foreign Minister Lam of the People's Republic of Vietnam will meet to sign a treaty of reconciliation. This is a night few of us who covered the war ever imagined would come. With more, here is your... God, American I hardly American remember American living here. You could. You just don't want to. Not only an historic moment, but one that touches a personal note for a great many of us. When Secretary of State Weidman of the United States... Fran, those things Major Sumtra said about my mother. Don't pay any attention to him. He doesn't particularly like Farag's. It was just nonsense. I don't think it was. Meaning? I found some odd things at my mother's house. Some blank passports, a lot of cash. Some strange photographs. Strange photographs? Oh, they were just pictures of her house and some boat, but there were lines and... Numbers on the back. I don't know. Fran, I think Mother was involved with something. There's probably a perfectly logical explanation for everything you found. Fran, you must be new around here. As remarkable as the treaty itself <laughs> he looks about may be, 12 years old. what is occurring here in Bangkok tonight at the Dusitani Hotel is perhaps even more so. The Americans identified with directing the Vietnam War, Henry Kissinger that, and Robert That, my dear, is where we're going tonight. With their former Vietnamese uh, enemies, including oh, I don't think so. Yes, we are. Army I really don't do very well with politicians. These are old politicians, Jesse. That makes them statesmen. <laughs> Fran, I don't have anything to wear. ...to witness the signing. While they are all now private citizens, they're pressing together here tonight... No more excuses. ...to a remarkable moment that few of us will ever forget. This is Jeremy Harrington, Asian <laughs> Service, Bangkok. <laughs> The deuce it's right up ahead. We'll get there a lot quicker if we walk. Tina! Hi, friend! Hi! How are you? How are you? See you there. See you there. Wait for us at the hotel. Be a little careful. I ought to be a little careful. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? Hey, wait, wait. Where are you going? To the prom? Huh. What are you, the chaperone? You're the reason she needs a chaperone. Come on. Is that right? Hey, wait. You guys are Americans, huh? But wait a minute. You ought to, you know something? You should really get to know me. Yeah, really. You don't know what might happen. Fuck off. We'll say hello to the real important people.
is this? Number three, I think. You've got that get me out of here look. Actually, I'm starving. Hello, Fran. Good. It's good to see you. How are you? Excuse I'm fine. Me. Jesse, you're starving. What do you want to eat? Uh, anything other than Thai. Sorry, Sam. I know you don't like farong food. Uh, actually, friend, I love farong food. Oh. Well, follow me. Reminds me of med school days in Boston. Isn't that supposed to be a recommendation? The best. Would you care to dance, Major? Uh, no, 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 thank you. Uh, may I ask why not? Jesse, this is Bangkok, not Boston. Look around you, what do you see? Well, I see couples dancing. <laughs> Why? What am I supposed to you see? You see ties with ties, farongs with farongs. Is that a rule? Jesse, if you see a Thai woman with a farong man, you assume she's a bar girl. You see a Thai man with a farong woman, well, just don't see Are you afraid someone might think I'm a prostitute, Major? No, he's afraid people are going to think he's a prostitute. I never thought I'd see you in a place like this. <laughs> There's something we can do. Ties, farangs, shooting. We both ought to be pretty good at this. Come on. Found out anything? You found the guys who picked up your mother's body. But now they claim they don't remember. Do you really believe what you said about her? Yes. That she was killed because of it? Yes. <laughs> I think I should tell you what I found in her house. Jesse, I, uh... I'll get some coins. Give me a rematch. Not this one, Sam. Could you come this way, please? Jesse! Have a good evening, sir. Wait a minute!
for you, please? You want some beer? Or something more better? Excuse me. No. Uh, give me number one you want. I con her out. Look, could you just uh good at I kun? Oh no, I really That's uh... Look, could you just tell um Oh, no, that's not what I said. Really, that's not what I meant. You really ought to go with this lovely young lady, Dr. McCarthy. It would most certainly be to your benefit. I'm sorry about the setting, but most of my callers are male, and this is usually convenient. We'll just have to assume that your reputation can take it. Your newspaper office, I suppose? Well, I, I wasn't entirely honest with you about that. Really? CIA? That obvious, huh? I'd say so. Really? Oh, yeah. A little incident with the purse, was that your doing, too? No. I was following you, but the kid had his own agenda. I'm still not sure if there was some kind of a connection with you or if it was just some kind of a random weirdness do you mind getting to the point i'd like to know what the hell is going on here what do you think what do i think i think you're out of your mind yeah sometimes i think so too oh wonderful look i brought you here to tell you something ever occur to you to use the phone would you have some tea no thank you would you have a seat no thanks it's good tea. I'll pass. Here's the whole thing. There are some Vietnamese and even some people in the agency who are not too wild about the Treaty of Reconciliation. Old grudges and all that, and I think that Somehow, some of these fine taxpayers have cooked up a plan to scuttle the treaty. Yeah, I don't see what this has to do with me. Oh, wait a minute. I think that your mother somehow found out about this, maybe even was involved in it. And she tried to back out, and they killed her. Oh, my God. Will you have a seat? Do you have any proof? Proof? Such as what? Do you... Oh, hey, you mean documents, records? Nothing important is ever really put down in writing. Nod, whisper, wink. That's how all the great crimes are always planned. What kind of great crime? Actually, I was rather hoping that you'd tell me. I'd tell... Can I do that? Well, come on now, Jesse. Don't be naive. They think that you know something, and that's why they have to kill you, too. I, I, do you think that people like this are actually going to forget about you now? Do you think that you can just go back to Connecticut now? I don't know anything. Sometimes you know things that you don't know you know. For Christ's sake, only a spook could say that. It's nothing personal, just information. It's what I train in here. I don't have any information. All right. 
Then maybe you can help me out here, and then I think that I can help you find out who killed your mother. Okay. You know how when you want somebody, you don't necessarily go after them. You try to find ways to make them come to you. I see. You need me for bait. Yeah. It's the only idea I've got. I'm sorry, if that matters. It doesn't. Look, I know that all of this may not seem very appealing to you, but I'm your only way out. If I don't stop all this, you're dead. It's that simple. It's a hell of an offer. All right, that's my pitch. What do you want to do? I'd like to go back to my friends. You'd be safer here? I don't think so. I guess I owe you a ride home. Yeah, I guess you do. I'm over at the You're staying with friends. I'm Kid Garden's been out. Very good, Mr. Murphy. Call me Michael. By the way. I wouldn't tell that Major Somchai or uh, Fran about any of this. Why not? I wouldn't trust either one of them. Jesus. Who are the good guys around here anyway? Me. I'm the good guy. Thanks all the same. Don't you ride a company car? This is a company car. It's no coincidence. I had every policeman in Bangkok looking for you. We track you to a massage parlor, number 31. I spoke to a Farang man. You followed us? Luckily for you, I did.
We have to get you to a safe place. Get you out on the first flight. All right. You have to tell me everything you know about your mother. Sure, Jesse. You can't remember anything written on the back of the picture. No. But you're positive about the lines, marks around the windows in the picture of your mother's house. Well, just one of the windows. Jesse, you know how to use a gun? Uh, my dad taught us how to shoot. Us? My brother, Frank, and me. He always said girls made better marks than something about us. Being more detached in our hearts. Jesse, take this. No. Jesse. No. Guns are for killing people. I'm not going to kill anyone. I made that promise a long time ago. It's very Buddhist. Very 60s. You never know. Cover all my bets. 
show you where to wash. You should get some sleep. Thank you. slept like that in years. That was my favorite song so long ago. I used to hear it on that radio. It's my favorite song, too. From my romantic period.
Thank you, Sunshine. Where are we going? Back in the embassy. Find plan, you'll be safe there. Emergency. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's no one here by that name. That's impossible. Uh, she's in the consular no, section. No, ma'am. No mistake. Look, please just call your superior. I've got a young lady here wishing to speak to a Miss Fran Jakes. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Ma'am, proceed to the annex building. Take the first door on your right. Thank you. How I be crop, my friend? Who are you people? 
we're anybody we want to be. It's an assassination, isn't it? Who? Just a ghost. The ghost of meaningless death and endless lies. He left all those men behind, Jesse, men just like Frank. But now he's gonna die right here like them. You see, that's our little joke. What did my mother have to do with this? Ah, yes, Rachel McCarthy, James Earl Ray, Lee Harvey Oswald. When you create a chain of evidence for history, you always build in a link weak enough to be broken. She was the patsy. Bitter about the loss of her husband and her only son in a hopeless war. Organizing some of her Vietnamese friends to help her get her revenge. Perfect choice. But now she's dead. We'll have to make do. I warned you. Not until tomorrow. The only thing scheduled today is a private trip arranged by the foreign minister for Kissinger. Where? On a boat. They're heading up from the Grand Palace. That's it. That's how they time my mother into it. We go right past the house. Central. Right. I'll get to that boat.
known now. Recapping, neither Mr. Kissinger nor the foreign minister were injured, but a Thai police major and an American security agent were both killed by the woman. Photographs of Kissinger arriving at the airport in Bangkok reveal that Jesse McCarthy entered Thailand posing as a member of his official party and may have been stalking the former secretary for some time to seek revenge for the deaths of her father and brother in the Vietnam War. Dr. McCarthy's fingerprints have been positively identified on both the rifle she used in her attempt on Kissinger and a handgun found at the assassination scene. Cartridge cases also found there match the bullets which killed the security agent and the police major. Two Vietnamese thought to have assisted Dr. McCarthy with preparations for the assassination were shot by the woman at close range and left dead at the scene. We switch now to Bangkok, where a special assistant to the American ambassador is answering questions. Was there a conspiracy? There is no evidence whatsoever of any wider conspiracy. We are absolutely confident that Jesse McCarthy, her mother Rachel McCarthy, and the two still unidentified Vietnamese were the only people involved in what apparently was an attempt to murder the former Secretary of State. 